Kotte Kadubu is a special type of idli that gets its unique flavor and aroma from steaming in jackfruit leaves. Here Kotte refers to packet or mold and Kadubu translates to steamed rice cakes, also known as idlis. These idlis wrapped in jackfruit leaves are known for their specialty. They are very soft, light and fluffy. This recipe is vegan and gluten free and it's a festive treat in the coastal areas of Karnataka, especially during the occasion of Ganesh Chaturthi. The main ingredients of our recipe today are simple but essential. Urad dal and rice for the batter and jackfruit leaves for the molds. Start by washing and soaking one glass of urad dal for about one hour. I prefer using whole urad dal as it always gives the best results, resulting in soft, fluffy idlis. After soaking for an hour, grind the urad dal until it achieves a smooth consistency. This usually takes around 20 to 25 minutes in a grinder. If the urad dal appears dry and thick during the grinding process, you can add some water to ensure the smoother texture. While the urad dal is grinding, measure 2.5 glasses of dosa rice. I am using Sortex dosa rice but feel free to use any rice that is suitable for making idlis. This choice might affect how much you need and how long you need to soak it. The proportions I am using yield perfectly soft idlis or kadbus. Wash and soak the rice for around 20 minutes. Continue grinding the urad dal until it reaches a very smooth consistency. You'll notice the batter puffing up and changing to a pure white color, a result of using a grinder. If using a mixer, expect a different outcome. Also, the idli batter made in mixer yields in slightly hard idlis compared to this. In that case, you may have to reduce the rice quantity. Once the urad dal is smooth, set the batter aside. Now add the soaked rice to the same grinder and grind it to a rava like consistency. This may take 4 to 5 minutes depending on the rice variety. Combine the rice batter with the urad dal batter in the same container. Mix everything well and let it ferment overnight. Instead of grinding the rice, you can use the store bought rice idli rava and maintain the same proportions, that is, one part of urad dal to two to two and a half parts of idli rava. Simply wash the rava, drain the water, and add it to the urad dal batter. This will be much easier than soaking and grinding the rice. While the batter is fermenting, let's prepare the kotte or jackfruit leaf molds. Collect some large, slightly tender jackfruit leaves and preferably wash them with hot water to remove any dirt. Additionally, gather coconut leaf sticks or thin bamboo sticks. To create one kotte or mold, you'll need four leaves. Follow the video instructions to make the molds. Start with two large leaves forming the first layer. Then place two slightly smaller leaves in the second layer, creating a plus sign. Secure them tightly with the coconut leaf sticks. Fold the leaf and stitch it together with the adjacent leaf as demonstrated in the video. Continue folding and stitching until you get a leaf-proof mold. If you wish, you can trim the ends as well. Your molds are now ready. Keep them airtight until next morning. The next morning, our batter is well fermented. Add salt to taste and mix it thoroughly. Now it's time to steam our kotte kadubu. Prepare your steamer and let the water boil vigorously. Rinse the kotte or molds once in cold water. Then pour the batter to 3 fourths of the height and place the molds inside the steamer.
Close the lid and steam for 30 to 40 minutes. You can use the same batter to create soft and fluffy idlis. And that concludes the delightful art of making kotte kadubu. Serve it with your favorite chutney or sambar and enjoy this traditional South Indian delicacy. If you tried this recipe, let me know in the comments how it turned out for you. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel for more mouth-watering recipes and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss a delicious update. Until next time, happy cooking. Bye!